Let's take a deeper dive into why Windows Phone failed by analyzing each of the key factors in more detail. Late Entry into the Smartphone Market When Windows Phone 7 launched in 2010, Apple's iPhone launched in 2007, and Android launched in 2008, had already established themselves. By this time, Apple had built a strong ecosystem with the App Store, iTunes, and a loyal customer base. Android had gained widespread adoption with major manufacturers like Samsung, HTC, and LG producing Android phones. Carriers were already invested in selling and supporting these two platforms. Microsoft had dominated the PDA and early smartphone market with Windows Mobile in the 2000s, but it was outdated by 2010. By scrapping Windows Mobile and launching Windows Phone as a fresh start, Microsoft essentially started from zero, while Apple and Google were miles ahead. Weak app ecosystem and developer disinterest. One of the biggest reasons for Windows Phone's failure was its lack of apps. Even though the OS itself was well-designed, most people didn't want a smartphone without access to their favorite apps. Why developers ignored? Windows Phone. Small market share. Developers prioritize platforms with the biggest audiences. Since Windows Phone had a low market share, developers focused on iOS and Android instead. Difficult development tools. Windows Phone used a different programming framework. Silverlight, later replaced by Universal Windows Platform, requiring developers to create separate versions of their apps. This made supporting Windows Phone more expensive and time-consuming. Microsoft's changing strategies. With each new version, Windows Phone 7, 8, and 10 Mobile, Microsoft changed the app development framework, making previous apps incompatible or requiring extra work to port. Developers grew frustrated and abandoned the platform. Key, apps missing or poorly supported. Even years after launch, Windows Phone lacked key apps like Instagram, only got an official app in 2016, years after iOS Android. Snapchat, never officially supported Windows Phone. YouTube, Google blocked Microsoft's attempts to create an official app. Banking and productivity apps that users relied on. Microsoft tried to fix this with Project Astoria, a tool to run Android apps on Windows Phone, but it was abandoned before release. Without a solid app ecosystem, Windows Phone never stood a chance. Microsoft's poor product strategy and frequent resets. Microsoft made a series of missteps in its mobile OS strategy that alienated users and developers. Windows Phone 7, 2010. A fresh start, but incompatible with previous Windows mobile apps. No support for key features like copy-paste at launch. Limited hardware choices due to strict Microsoft requirements. Windows Phone 8, 2012, built on an entirely different kernel, Windows NT instead of Windows CE. This made Windows Phone 7 devices obsolete overnight. Users who bought into the platform early couldn't upgrade. Developers had to rebuild apps again. Windows 10 Mobile, 2015. Another attempt to unify desktop and mobile, but by this point, Windows Phone had lost too much market share. Microsoft released few flagship phones, instead focusing on cheap, low-end devices that failed to attract premium buyers. Users were once again left uncertain about the platform's future. By constantly changing its OS and making previous versions obsolete, Microsoft failed to build loyalty among consumers and developers. Poor manufacturer support 
and Nokia's acquisition, Misfire. Strict hardware requirements. Unlike Android, where manufacturers had the freedom to customize the OS and use various hardware, Microsoft imposed strict rules on Windows Phone hardware. This discouraged manufacturers like Samsung, HTC, and LG from making many Windows phones since they had more flexibility and better sales with Android. Nokia's dominance and the acquisition problem. Microsoft partnered with Nokia in 2011, making it the primary Windows phone manufacturer. In 2014, Microsoft acquired Nokia's phone division for $7.2 billion. Other manufacturers saw this as Microsoft directly competing with them and abandoned Windows Phone altogether. By 2015, Microsoft realized the Nokia deal was a mistake and wrote off $7.6 billion, essentially admitting failure. This acquisition killed any chance of a diverse Windows Phone ecosystem, leaving Microsoft alone to fight against Apple and Google. Weak consumer demand and brand perception. Even though Windows Phone had great hardware, like the Lumia 1020 with its 41 megapixel camera, it struggled to attract consumers because lack of apps, the biggest deal breaker for most buyers. Low awareness. Many consumers didn't even know Windows phones existed since marketing was weak compared to iPhone and Samsung's massive ad campaigns. Retail neglect. Carrier stores pushed iPhones and Androids more because sales reps were more familiar with them and they had better incentives. Unclear positioning. Windows phone lacked a strong selling point compared to iOS, premium, Apple ecosystem, and Android, variety, affordability. While some tech enthusiasts loved Windows Phone's unique UI and smooth performance, the general public didn't see a compelling reason to switch. Microsoft's shift in priorities and the end of Windows Phone. By 2016, Microsoft saw that its mobile efforts were failing and decided to focus on cloud computing, Azure, software and services, Office 365, Microsoft Teams, etc. Enterprise products. Windows Phone was left to die slowly. In 2017, Microsoft's CEO Satya Nadella admitted Windows Phone was a mistake, and in 2019, Windows 10 Mobile was officially discontinued. Could Windows Phone have succeeded? Yes, but Microsoft would have needed to. Enter the smartphone market earlier, 2007 to 2008, to compete with Apple and Google. Build a better developer-friendly app ecosystem from the start. Maintain compatibility between OS versions to avoid frequent resets. Secure strong partnerships with manufacturers beyond Nokia. Market Windows Phone aggressively to both developers and consumers. Instead, Microsoft's constant missteps turned Windows Phone into one of the biggest tech failures in history.